Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ariana. And today guys, I want to take you into my local Hobby Lobby. You can kind of see it in the back there. Um, we're going to go inside. We're going to do some browsing, you know, for Christmas stuff because it's actually December 5th. So we're 20 days away from Christmas and I'm so excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. My kids are excited. So we just want to take a look around, see what they got. And we're hoping you can come along with us. So we'll see you guys inside. That's all. So this is the aisle we started on. They had some really cute aprons. I absolutely love that like plaid and that the one in the back with the green and the gold. That was so cute. I love that. Um, and they had some like plates and stuff like that. Different types of utensils for cooking, baking, you know, holiday themed stuff. I love looking at this stuff, but personally I don't buy it because I feel like I only use it one time and then it comes out again the next year, which that's fine. I know a lot of people do that. That's awesome. But for me, honestly, I like to find things that I can use all year round, but I wish I could just spend a lot of money on this stuff. If you know what I mean, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I love this little, like, pot holder, I guess. You could set your pots on it. I mean, it was kind of made out of plastic, so I don't know how well that would do with hot items, but that's what it looked like it was for. Really cute anyways. Love the tablecloths. And <laughs> later down in the rest of the aisle, they had, like, these soap pumps. My son loved them. He was so obsessed with them. He loves trucks and stuff like that. So he thought those, that was really cute. And I absolutely loved this gingerbread themed baking stuff. It was so cute to me. I love it so much. I love gingerbread type things. Baking themed Christmas stuff. That's my favorite type. They just have so much nice stuff at Hobby Lobby. And it was a really great deal. 50% off everything. Down this next aisle, they had all the seasonal mugs out. And you know this makes a great deal for gifts and stuff like that. And they had these cute little espresso, well, I think they're little espresso cups. That's what I would use them for. I mean, you could use them for like hot chocolate, I guess too, for kids. Um, they had a bunch of ribbons, of course. I never know what, what to do with ribbons, guys. I am just like, I'm pretty dumb when it comes to like decorating. <laughs> I'm not talented at that. Um, I guess if I had to sit there and think about it, I could probably figure out something that looks semi okay. Interior design is just not my forte, but let me know in the comments if you love it. I know so many people love it and they make it look so beautiful too. So that's awesome. And then they had all the wrapping paper and the cute little bows. And I just love the Grinch wrapping paper. That was so adorable. You know, standard Christmas stuff. <laughs> Are you guys a fan of the Grinch with Jim Carrey or do you like the old school one? Let me know in the comments. I love the Jim Carrey one. It's so funny to me. <laughs> and then they had these bows like I said do you guys put bows on your packages or do you just do wrapping paper I don't really do the bows because I think they're just extra money but they always look so beautiful and then this aisle they had all the stockings I was in love with the stockings <laughs> they were so cute and they had all the stocking holders in case you don't have a chimney or like other hooks to use I know growing up we did use the stocking holders and we had a really cute one I think we had like a jack-in-the-box one and I thought this was so beautiful, the robins. And then the gingerbread, I already told you guys I love the gingerbread so much, and they had it. I have, like, these hooks that I put mine on, so I didn't need that. But if I did need it, I would have got the gingerbread one. And they had mini stockings. I'm guessing that's for, like, your animals or whatever. If you want to have a little stocking for them, that's so cute. Or maybe, like, a newborn. And then they had ones with, like, the initial on it and different themes I thought the one with the robin is really cute. Or it's not a robin, it's a cardinal. I said it was a robin earlier, sorry guys. They're cardinals. <laughs> oh my gosh. And they had like these white ones. I love that, the sparkly ones. That's my favorite. I already have a stocking. I got it on sale at Target like probably like over five years ago. And I got mine for like three bucks. So I haven't changed it. It's just a regular pink stocking. But I was so enticed to get it today, but I didn't. Because they're like $10 after the discount. So they're not that expensive. And they just look adorable. Down this next aisle, they had all the different types of ball ornaments. So whatever theme you're doing, you can pick out the color scheme that you want. I thought that was really interesting. Um, I wanted to let you guys know something, though. I saw some posts on some lady's Instagram. I think her name is Lead Safe Mama. And she was posting that some of these ball ornaments, not the ones necessarily from Hobby Lobby, but I think one was from Aldi a few years back, tested really high levels of lead and different heavy metals. So just be really careful with what you're buying with your kids. 
I'm not sure the rating on these. They look beautiful, but just check that if you're nervous about that first. And then they had, you know, just normal tree toppers, which I thought were cute. The snowflake one, I really love that. One of my kids loved it. That's why they grabbed it. <laughs> and this one lit, lit up, I think. That was so nice. Loved it. <laughs> and then they had the fake trees, which were super big and huge and expensive. I think that's the normal sale, the price. I don't think you get 50% off that. So they are pretty expensive, but, you know, you keep them hopefully for the rest of your life or for, like, 20 years. So it's not that bad of a price. They had more ornaments. And then they had the themed ornaments, which are my favorite. They're so cute. I love them all. Every year I try to buy a few themed ornaments to go on my tree. I don't have that many ornaments, so each year I'm trying to build up, like, a surplus of them. I, we love cats, so that was so cute. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. Um, my kids are obsessed with cats. We have one, and it's just, they're the best thing ever. If you love cats, let me know, because <laughs> we're a cat, we're cat people here. Um, and I love how they had, like, the food recreation ones. That was so cute. They have a lot of these at Target, too, but I think the price is about the same at Hobby Lobby, because it's so good with the 50% off. But I know Target also gives out deals, so if you're interested and you don't see something here, you could also check out Target, but they usually do sell out pretty fast. Um, <laughs> this dinosaur was so, so cute, but these are really like fragile. They will break their glass. So I don't really get these glass ones. I usually try to stick with the felt or the wood ones with little kids because you obviously know how that goes. <laughs> and then down in the back, they even had more ball ornaments and more Christmas stuff. It was insane. They had a ton of stuff. And I love this section they had on the nativity. I thought that was adorable. They had it right in the middle and so nice. That looks beautiful. Can't, definitely can't have that with kids around. <laughs> I always think that, guys. Every time I buy something, I'm like, can I have this with my kids or will they break it? I'm sure you guys can relate. I thought that was really beautiful with, like, the hymnal page in the background. Everything is pretty moderately, moderately priced, excuse me. And then they had these garland, which is super cute. If you do, like to do, like, the more bright colors... I love that. You can pick out like the super cool garlands. They have non-conventional ones, which is awesome. And then they had the New Year's section. Can't forget about New Year's. We love New Year's. I personally love New Year's Eve. It's one of my favorites to stay up and watch the ball drop. It's so fun. They just had some cute stuff and that was only 40% off, but most of it was really cheap. So what was it? Like 350 for that so 40% off not too bad you could set up like a whole little centerpiece in your house and just enjoy the new year thank you so much guys for browsing with me at Hobby Lobby it's so much fun to just go in there ring in the Christmas season and the almost new year and it's just something to get you into that festive Christmas mood so thanks again guys let me know if you guys are running to Hobby Lobby before it's Christmas if you need extra stuff or if you're all done let me know in the comments, guys. As always, please like, subscribe, and share if you can, if you want. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, guys.